online store. Check out our range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support. Push it down firmly, Kazwa. Alhamdulillah, it looks like we're nearly done. I think I might be done too. I'll finish up the rest while you get some water from the river so we can water the plants. Coming right up, Zeki. There you go. Nice yummy water to help you grow. What a beautiful flower. I'll give you some extra water. He won't find us in here. Okay? <laughs> My garden! It's... Guess we have to do it all over again. Time for us to get back to work. Remember, 
always be good to your parents and kind to others, especially bees. There's a bee in the garden Buzzing around There's a bee on the flower Drinking the nectar There's a bee flying home Back to its hive Another amazing creation Assalamualaikum Bees make the honey Oh yummy 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 And it's good for your tummy Subhanallah Delicious and yummy Alhamdulillah Another amazing creation of Allah That was so much fun I want to sing it one more time Are you ready? There's a bee in the garden Buzzing around There's a bee on the flower Drinking the nectar There's a bee flying home Back to its hive Another amazing creation of Allah Bees make the honey Oh yummy 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 And it's good for your tummy Subhanallah Delicious and yummy Alhamdulillah Another amazing creation of Allah Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial. Kaz, inshallah, we catch some fish. I wonder how that got there. Look out! 
There's a waterfall up ahead. Hold on tight. This way, Kazwa. Uh, uh, are we safe? Looks like it. I think he needs our help. <laughs> Run! Next time, be careful where you toss your fishing line. I don't think there'll be a next time. Al-Quran, Al-Quran, the language 
Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are all well, inshallah. You know, I get lots of letters from children wanting to learn Arabic. Did you know that Arabic is the language that the Quran was revealed in and also the language that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam spoke? Arabic is an easy and fun language to learn. My friends and I would love to teach you the Arabic alphabet. Let's learn Arabic with Zaki. Alif is for Allah. Allah is the creator of the universe. He created humans, animals, the beautiful oceans, the shining sun and beautiful sky, the beautiful flowers and plants and everything you can imagine. Alif is for Allah. Ba is for Bismillah, which means in the name of Allah. We say Bismillah before we do almost anything, such as before eating or drinking. Ba is for Bismillah. Ta is for Tawbah. Tawbah means repentance, which is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness when we have done something wrong. When you make Tawbah, you promise Allah to keep away from the bad deed that you have done and admit that it was wrong to do it. 
Та извод оба. Та извод оба. A traditional robe that many Muslim men wear around the world. I see many Muslim men wearing a thawb at the masjid. Tha is for thawb. Jim is for Jannah. An amazing garden in paradise for people who do good deeds. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes Jannah as having beautiful smelling plants and flowers, a flowing river, delicious fruits, and a place where you are always happy. There are different levels of Jannah and the highest is Jannah to Firdaus. Team is for Jannah. So those are the first five letters of the Arabic alphabet. Are you all finding it easy? I told you it was fun. Let's continue on. Ha is for Hajj, one of the five pillars of Islam. As Muslims, we must go to Mecca for Hajj at least once in our lives if we are able to. Did you know the Kaaba was built by Prophet Ibrahim السلام, and his son Ismail السلام, and it is also known as Baytullah, which means the house of Allah. Ha is for Hajj. Kha is for Khair, meaning goodness. The more Khair we do, the more Thawab we gain, and the closer we are to entering Jannah and meeting Allah. Khair means doing something that is right, such as being a good host to your guests, or assisting the orphans, or simply picking up anything harmful. When we do a good deed, it wipes away some bad deeds that we have done in the past. Khair is for khair. Dal is for dua. During dua, you can ask Allah for anything, such as making us better Muslims or helping someone that is sick. Allah promises that your dua will be answered and that your wishes will be granted, either in this life or the hereafter. Remember Allah by making dua during both the good times and the bad. Every single day I play outside, so I keep my body healthy running around in the sun. I play and it feels so good because the sun provides my vitamin D. Making dua is very important. Allah says in the Quran, Call on me and I will answer your prayers. Let's continue on to the next letter. Dal is for dhikr, which means remembering Allah. There is nothing greater than the remembrance of Allah. I love to make the spear throughout my day. Whether you are at school, in the car or with your friends, you should make the spear by saying Subhanallah Walhamdulillah Wala ilaha illallah Allahu Akbar You can use your fingers to keep count just like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. Did you know that reciting Qur'an is also a form of dhikr? Dal is for dhikr. Ra is for the beautiful month of Ramadan. During Ramadan, we fast from Fajr to Maghrib for 29 or 30 days. During this very special month, Shaitan is locked up so we cannot blame our bad deeds on him. In Ramadan, all the good deeds we do, such as praying, reading Qur'an, and giving charity, are multiplied up to 700 times. Ra for Ramadan. Zain is for Zakat. Zakat means giving money to the poor, orphans, and those in need. Giving money to others helps us remember all we have 
and not to take our blessings for granted. It also reminds us that there are always people less fortunate than us who have less than us. As Muslims, we must care about our brothers and sisters in Islam. And giving zakat is one way of doing that. Zain is for zakat. Sin is for sunnah, which is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to do or say. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to pray extra prayers before and after the five daily prayers. So doing this is called sunnah. Sin is for sunnah. Muhammad is the one, he is the seal of the prophets of Allah. Sheen is for a shahada, the first and most important pillar of Islam. Shahada means believing that only Allah deserves to be worshipped and that he has no partners. It also means accepting that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the last messenger of Allah. When a person becomes a Muslim, they must make shahada to declare their faith. We also make shahada every day during salah and after making wudu by saying Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah. Sheen is for a shahada. Sod is for psalm, which means fasting. When we fast, we not only keep away from food and drink, we also keep our tongues clean by not raising our voice, swearing or becoming angry. We also keep our minds pure by remembering Allah and avoiding bad thoughts. Fasting brings us closer to Allah and increases our faith by ridding us from bad habits and replacing them with good manners and practices. Sod is for Psalm. Sod is for Duha, which is the period between when the sun has completely risen up to midday. My friend Mustafa goes to the masjid with his father for Fajr prayer. After they pray Fajr, they read Quran until it's Duha time and then pray the Duha prayer. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Whoever sits in the masjid after the Fajr, remembering Allah until the sun rises above the horizon, and then he prays two rak'at, then he will get the reward of Hajj and Umrah complete, complete, complete. Dod is for Duha. Ta is for Tahara which means cleanliness. As Muslims, we must always be clean. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that being clean is one half of your faith. So it is very important that we always clip our nails, trim unwanted hair from our bodies, brush our teeth, shower regularly, wear clean clothes and keep our rooms nice and tidy. Ta is for Tahara. Dhuh is for Dhuhr, the second prayer of our five daily prayers. On Friday, Usman goes to the masjid for Jum'ah at Dhuhr time. Before the Friday prayer, the Imam gives a khutbah or talk, which is followed by two units of prayer, instead of the usual four units for Dhuhr. Did you know that when you pray with others at the masjid, you receive 27 times more hasanat or good deeds compared to praying by yourself. Dha is for dhuhr. Did you know that Friday is the most important day of the week? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, the best day on which the sun has risen is Friday. On that day, Prophet Adam alayhi salam was created. He was sent to live in paradise and he was taken out from there. Ain is for Eid, 
which we celebrate twice a year. The first is Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan. The second celebration, Eid al-Adha, is celebrated on the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah, the month for performing Hajj. On both Eids, we pray a special prayer called Salatul Eid early in the morning. In the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, men, women and children used to pray Salatul Eid. Eid is the perfect time to give gifts and have a party. Ain is for Eid. Ghain is for Al Ghaffar, one of Allah's many beautiful names. Al Ghaffar means the forgiver. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can forgive our sins. Allah loves those who ask for His forgiveness. Is for Al Ghaffar. Where are you headed? Turn to Allah, that's the best. Cause He is there wherever you are. Fa is for Fajr, the first of the five daily prayers. Fajr is prayed from the beginning of dawn before the sun rises. Prophet Muhammad said, The two Sunnah prayers before Fajr are better than the whole world and all it contains. Fa is for Fajr. Qaf is for Al-Qur'an, the holy book that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Qur'an was revealed in Arabic and that is why learning Arabic is very important. There are many inventions in this world that were discovered through the teachings of the Qur'an, such as architecture, astronomy and medicine. What will I be when I grow up? What will I be when I grow up? What will I be when I grow up? As a Muslim man, a teacher is what I want to be. People will come. Kaf is for Al-Qur'an. Science and history. And I'll teach Qur'an. Kaf is for Kitab, which means book. Every day we learn many new things from books that are written about science, maths and geography. I love reading storybooks at night, especially the stories of the prophets and companions. My favourite Kitab in the world is Al-Qur'an. Did you know that another name for Al-Qur'an is Kitabullah, which means the Book of Allah. Night child, sleep tight, ask Allah to forgive you. Good night child, and you should forgive. Gaf is for kitab. Good night child, don't forget to sleep. Isn't it fun learning Arabic? Let's see what letter is next. Lam is for Laylatul Qadr, which means the night of decree. Laylatul Qadr was the night that the glorious Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Laylatul Qadr falls in one of the last ten nights of Ramadan. During this night, you get the reward of worshipping Allah for 1000 months, which is equal to about 83 years. We should try our best to read a lot of Quran, make dua and stand in prayer most of the night. Lam is for Laylatul Qadr. Mim is for Masjid, known as the House of Allah. This is a place where Muslims gather to pray, learn about Islam and have different events. Apart from the five daily prayers, Muslims go to the Masjid to pray the Jum'ah prayer on Fridays, Eid prayers and Taraweeh prayers in Ramadan. What do you do at your local masjid?
Mim is for masjid. Noon is for Noor, which means light. Did you know that angels are made from light? Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created angels to worship and obey him. There are many different angels that each have a special job from Allah. Noon is for Noor. Ha, Al-Hadi. One of Allah's beautiful names is Al-Hadi, which means the guide. We ask Allah for guidance every day in our five daily prayers when we recite Al-Fatiha. We say, Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim, which means, Guide us, O oh Allah, on the right path. Ha is for Al Hadi. Wow is for Wudu, which involves washing different parts of your body to prepare for Salah. Making Wudu helps us to stay clean throughout the day and washes our sins away. We make wudu every day before prayer, which means we are always clean, insha'Allah. Wow is for al wudu. Yeah is for Yawmul Qiyamah, which means Judgment Day. On Judgment Day, we will all be either rewarded for our good deeds or punished for our bad deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will choose whether we deserve to enter Jannah, the beautiful garden of paradise, or hellfire. We must do as many good deeds as we can in this life so that we can enter Jannah forever, insha'Allah. So there you have it. We have just learned all 28 letters of the Arabic alphabet. How about we go through the letters again? We're learning the Arabic alphabet. Alif. Ba. Ta. Tha. Jim Ha Ha Dal Dal Ra Zain Sin Sheen Sod Dod Ta Va Ain Ain Fa Kaf Kaf Lam Mim Noon Ha Wow Yeah Alif Alif Ardun which means earth and Fun which means nose Udunun which means E Ba Ba Bakaratun which means cow Baitun, which means home. 
Bahrun, which is the sea? Ta. Ta is for Tamrun, which means dates. Yummy. Timsahun, which is a crocodile. Tinun, which is figs. Tha. Tha for Thiabun, which means clothes. Thalabun, which is a fox. Thamaratun, which is fruit. Jim. Jim, Jazarun, which is a carrot. Jabalun, which is a mountain. Jaradun, which is a cricket. Ha. Ha is for Hadikatun, which is a garden. Hutun, which is a whale. Hijaratun, which means stones. Kha. Kha is for Khaimatun, which means tent. Khubzun, which is bread. Khiarun, which means cucumber. Dal. Dal is for Dikun, which is a rooster. Dukhanun, which means smoke. Dubun, which means bear. Dal. Dal is for Dikbun, which is a wolf. Dura, which is corn. Dahabun, which is gold. Ra. Ra is for Dijlun, which means leg. Rumanun, which is a pomegranate. Rajulun, which is a man. Zain. Zain, Zaytunun, which is olives. Sarofatun, which is a giraffe. Zirun, which is a button. Sin. Sin, Sayaratun, which is a car. Sin which is a watch. Sama'un, which is a sky. Sheen. Sheen is for Shamsun, which is the sun. Shajaratun, tree. Shaykhun, elder. Sod. Sod is for Siratun, which is a path. Sabunun, which is soap. Sufun, which is wool. Dog. Dog, Tiftaatun, which is a frog. Dabitun, which is an officer. Dabarun, which is a hyena. Ta. Ta is for Tiflun, which is a child. Tabibun, which is a doctor. Ta'amun, which is food. 
و با از فضارفون which is an envelope دلون which is شاید ظفرون فنگانیو عین عین از فعینون which is an eye Akrabun, scorpion. Hinabun, grapes. Rain. Rain is for Rabun, which is a crow. Ramamun, which means clouds. Rasalatun. Which is a washing machine. Fa. Fa for firashun, which is a mattress. Fa'run, which is a mouse. Filun, which is an elephant. Kaf. Kaf. Kamarun, which is the moon. Kadamun, which is a foot. Kalamun, which is a pen. Kaf. Kaf, kursiyun, which is a chair. Kalbun, which is a dog. Karazun, cherries. Lam. Laylun, night. Lukluun, pearls. Lebanon, yoga. Mim. Mim. Maujun, which is waves. Mazun, which means goats. Miftahun, which is a key. Noon. Noon, Nahlatun, which is a bee. Nahrun, which is a river. Namlatun, which is an ant. Ha. Ha. Hatifun, which is a telephone. Hiratun, which is a cat. Hilalun, crescent moon. Wow. Wow. Waladun, which is a boy. Wardatun, rose. Wazatun, which is a goose. Ya. Ya, yamamatun, which is a dove. Yadun, which is a hand. Yachtun, which is a yacht. It's a cow. Tupun. A bear. Timsahun.
הקוקודייל. ימי המתון. היי דב. פילון. An elephant. Zipbun. Wolf. Divdatun. Frog. מעזון, אגוי, אורובון, אקר, טלבון, A fox. What's that one? A goose. Let's now learn the Arabic numbers. The Arabic numbers! Let's count together. واحد واحد اثنان اثنان واحد اثنان ثلاثة ثلاثة واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة أربعة واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة خمسة واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة ستة واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة سبعة واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية ثمانية واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة تسعة واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة عشرة واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة How many carrots can you see? واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة Four carrots How many ice creams can you see? واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية There are eight ice creams. Yummy! How many fish can you see? واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة There are five fish. How many strawberries can you see? واحد اثنين ثلاثة There are three strawberries. How many oranges can you see? واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة 
خمسة ستة There are six oranges The Arabic colors We've learned the Arabic letters Lots of Arabic words And the Arabic numbers Now let's learn the colors in Arabic Ahmar The color of the cherry is red In Arabic it's Ahmar Asfar The color of the banana is yellow In Arabic it's Asfar Bunni The color of Kazwa is brown In Arabic it is Bunni Azraq The color of Abdul Rahman's shirt is blue In Arabic it is Azraq Abyad The color of Omar's kufi is white In Arabic it is Abyad Aswad The color of the crow is black In Arabic it is Aswad Portugali The color of the orange is orange In Arabic it is Portugali Akhdar The color of the grass is green In Arabic it is Akhdar Ahmar Asfar Akhdar Azraq Bunni Aswad Abyad Portugali I hope all of you watching have enjoyed and benefited today. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Until next time, insha'Allah, Assalamu Alaikum. Muhammad is my guide, Muhammad is my teacher, Muhammad my beloved Rasulullah. Muhammad is my friend, Muhammad is my hero, Muhammad is my leader, the servant of Allah. Muhammad the kind, Muhammad the compassionate, Muhammad always smile, beloved of Allah. Muhammad the brave. Muhammad is the one, he is the seal of the prophets of Allah I wanna walk like you, talk like you, read my Quran just like you Wanna be like you in everything I do, you are the closest to Allah What will you do on judgment day? What will you think? What will you say? Where will you run? Where will you hide? Where will you turn? Where will you cry? Oh, 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 What will you do on judgment day? What will you think? What will you say? Where will you run? Where will you hide? Where will you turn? Where will you cry? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no way. Make 
making sure we don't go astray Many problems we face every day Every day But there's lessons that we learn along the way Cause every step we take Every move we make Everything we say Allah is watching us If we remember Him He will remember us In Him we put our trust And that's enough for us With a mystery bunch And together we learn about Allah With a mystery bunch On a journey to strengthen our Iman So come and join the fun Everyone Come and see What's going on Salsa? What's the matter? I'm hungry You're hungry? Then shouldn't you go out and look for some food then? I asked Allah for food But he didn't give me any I've been waiting here all day. All day? Silly Salsal. It's good you asked Allah for food, but you have to do your bit and you have to go out looking for food and Allah will provide for you. In fact, that reminds me of a story called Blueberries for Breakfast. I like blueberries. Yes, so do I. It's story time. Screen. <laughs> Cherries only grow near an old oak tree deep in the valley of Aden. Every morning Um Hafsa would travel very far to pick a bowl of cherries. She would then take the bowl of cherries back to Madian and hide them under some rocks. Um Hafsa would quietly go home and pretend to be asleep. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! I want cherries for breakfast, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Hafsa and her mother got ready to go out to look for some cherries. Hafsa, what is the dua we say before we go outside? Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Bismillah, with the name of Allah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, we put a trust in Allah. ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله There is no mind of power except with Allah Hafsa looked here and she looked there She looked everywhere Ummi, I can't find cherries anywhere said Hafsa Try looking under those rocks said Ummi How did you know they were there Ummi? Well, didn't we make dua to Allah as we left home? We said توكلت على الله I have placed my trust in Allah. And do you know how to put your trust in Allah, Hafsa? Um, I never thought about that. How do we put our trust in Allah, Ummi? Said Hafsa. To put our trust in Allah is like what the birds do every morning. They rely on Allah first and then they go out looking for food. And Allah makes them come back home in the evening with a full belly. So we have to do our bit and rely on Allah because he is our razaq The next morning, Um Hafsa went all the way to the valley of Aden to collect more cherries. This time, she hid the cherries in a hole and hurried back home. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! Let's go and look for some cherries, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Hafsa, what is the dua we say before we go outside? said Ummi. Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah. ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله بجنيم ظلنا توكلت على الله وفت أجست الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله في نوم الأباوة أجست الله حفصة looked here and she looked there she looked everywhere but she couldn't find any cherries أمي I can't find any cherries I even looked behind the rocks, but there's none there, said Hafsa, all frustrated. Have you checked that hole? Maybe you'll find some there, said Ummi. How did you know they were there, Ummi? Allah is a razaq, and he provides for all of his creation. Did you put your trust in Allah today? Yes, Ummi, 
So Allah will provide for us if we put our trust in him? Yes, but you have to do your bit by looking for food and Allah will provide for you. The next morning Um Hafsa went and got more cherries, but this time she hid the cherries behind the bush. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! Let's go and look for some cherries, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Hafsa, what is the dua we say before we go outside? Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Bismillah, with the name of Allah, tawakkaltu ala Allah. We put our trust in Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might of power except with Allah. Hafsa looked here, and she looked there. She looked everywhere, but she couldn't find any cherries. Only I can't find any cherries. I looked behind the rocks, and I looked inside of the hole, but I couldn't find anything. Have you checked that bush? Maybe you'll find some there, said Ummi. Alhamdulillah, there is some cherries here. But Ummi, does Allah provide for everyone? Allah is a razaq and he provides for all of his creation, from the biggest whale in the ocean to even the smallest ants. Ummi, who provides for Allah? said Hafsa. Allah is self-sufficient. He doesn't need anything or anyone, but everything and everyone needs him, said Ummi. The following day, when Umm Hafsa reached the cherry trees in the Valley of Adam, there were no more cherries there. Oh no! What am I going to do? Hafsa loves cherries, but there's no more cherries left, said Umm Hafsa. She went home quickly and went back to bed before Hafsa came to wake her up. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! Let's go and find some cherries, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Ummi was worried. She didn't find any cherries today. What is she going to tell Hafsa? Pulling her mother along, Hafsa started making her dua. Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, said Hafsa while dragging her mother. Hafsa looked here, and she looked there. She looked everywhere, but she couldn't find any cherries. Ummi, I can't find cherries anywhere. Ummi, why are you crying? Don't worry, I'll find some cherries. Maybe it's behind the rocks, or inside of the hole, or behind the bush. Hafsa carried on looking. Ummi was upset. Ummi knew that Hafsa won't find any cherries. There were no cherries on the tree this morning. Seeing Ummi cry, Hafsa jumped into a bush. Look, Ummi! Allah has provided us with blueberries. Allah is a rosic. And he provides for all his creations, so don't worry. Ummi smiled as she was reminded by Hafsa about Allah. Ummi gave Hafsa a badge. It has the name ar razaq written on it. ar razaq is one of the names of Allah, which means Allah is the provider. You say it. ar razaq ar razaq Allah is ar razaq the provider, and he provides for all of his creation. Hafsa and her mother went home to enjoy blueberries for breakfast this time. The end. Now, did you enjoy that tasty story? Salsal, did you understand? You have to put your trust in Allah and then go out looking for food. And Allah will provide for you. Insha'Allah. Jazakallah khair for the story, Abu Walid. I think I'll go look for some blueberries now. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Now, we gained another name of Allah. We have Ar Raziq. Allah is Ar Raziq. And He provides for all of His creation. Join us next episode as we collect more special badges with the names of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And together we learn about Allah So come and join the fun Everyone come and see what's going on
Midday. You've been asleep for 15 hours. Uh, okay. Maybe one more hour. But I've got some exciting news. What is it? The carnival will be in town tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes. Kaswa, where are you going? The carnival is coming to town. I have to tell them. Tell who? Tell everyone! But wait, Kazwa, you haven't washed up or brushed your teeth. You haven't even changed your clothes. You can't go out like that. It's okay, Zaki. Tomorrow, inshallah, I'll wash extra hard and be the cleanest one at the carnival. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to clean your ears. Don't forget to clean up your room. Kazwa, wait! Someone doesn't smell too good. He makes me want to go home and shower again. Sorry guys, he's just very excited. Now you really need to go home and have a shower, Kazwa. First I need to tell Tufa and Tima. But you're so dirty now. Even your clothes are covered in mud. Tomorrow, inshallah, I will dress in my best clothes and be the best dressed at the carnival. Now, I need to go tell everyone. Kazwa, wait! Kazwa, you shouldn't be eating if you haven't washed your hands. But I'm so hungry. It's been a very long day. You can say that again. Let's get you home and cleaned up. <coughs> Kazwa! 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 It's time to wake up! Kazwa! The carnivals arrived! They got all your favourite rides and food stalls! Come on, get up! Everyone's going. Kazwa? Ugh, I can't go to the carnival, Zeki. I, I feel sick. Oh no, Kaz. That's terrible news. Duhur, inshallah. This was going to be the best day ever. And now I'm too ill to do anything. Why do I have such bad luck? It wasn't bad luck, Kazwa. You may have got sick because you didn't wash up before you went out. And after you fell in the mud, you didn't clean yourself properly. And you didn't wash your hands before eating the apple. But I had to tell everyone about the carnival. That's no excuse, Kazwa. Washing ourselves is one of the most important parts of our daily routine. It's how we keep away all the nasty germs that can make us sick. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us that cleanliness is half of our iman, which is our faith. You're right, Zaki. Sometimes I just get too excited. I wish I had listened to you. Why don't you get in the shower and wash up? Okay. Brush your teeth. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to clean. Your face, 
Alhamdulillah, I feel so much better after that shower. Come in. Are you feeling better now, Kazwa? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Please come in. Surprise! We wanted to come and cheer you up. The carnival isn't the same without you, Kazwa. Thanks, guys. I'm feeling even better now, Alhamdulillah. Do you want to rest some more, Kazwa? Are you kidding? Let's all go to the carnival. Yay! Yay. Smile with you, be so kind, respect your mom and dad as much as you can. Alhamdulillah, we had a great day today at the carnival. Remember children, that our body is a blessing from Allah and we should take good care of it. One of the best ways to do this is by keeping it clean as much as we can. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial. One for Kids online store. Check out our range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support. Enough for us 
covering your face I'm playing hide and seek you're playing what I'm playing hide and seek well shouldn't you hide in a place where no one can see you but I can't see myself so it must mean nobody can see me well just because you can't see yourself doesn't mean nobody can see you I can see you they can see you. We can see you. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, let me tell you a story about three little squirrels who loved playing hide and seek. Story time. Screen. In a faraway forest around an old oak tree, Three little squirrels were playing hide and seek. واحد, اثنان, ثلاثة, أربعة, خمسة. Ready or not, here I come, said Abdul Hakim, while his brothers ran around to find a place to hide. Assalamu alaikum, boys, come over here, I got your lunch, called out Uncle Salam from afar. Uncle Salam, Uncle Salam, we were playing hide and seek and I hid in a place where nobody could see me. Abdul Hakim couldn't see me, Abdul Karim couldn't see me. Oh, mashallah, Abdul Salim. I tell you what, I got a little game for you guys too. All you gotta do is eat your nut in a place where no one can see you, said Uncle Salam. That's easy, said Abdul Salim, while the other two brothers pondered where they will eat their nut. Abdul Salim quickly ran away from his brothers and found a big bush and jumped straight in. Abdul Karim went back to the old oak tree and climbed into the dark hole, while Abdul Hakim went further than his brothers and found a dark cave to eat his nut in. Abdul Salim looked to his right and looked to his left and said to himself, There's nobody here. Nobody can see me if I eat my nut. Inside of the hole of the tree, two eyes blinked. It was Abdul Karim. I can't even see myself here. There's no way anyone can see me eat my nut, said Abdul Karim as he gobbled up his nut. Abdul Hakim sat in the middle of the cave. There's nobody here. No one will be able to see me eat my nut. Bismillah, as he shouted before eating his nut. Huh? Bismi Allah? Bismillah? Can someone see me here? thought Abdul Hakim. Abdul Hakim looked up and said, Allah can see me here. I can't eat my nut here. So he decided to leave the cave. Where can I eat my nut? Abdul Hakim thought to himself, Ah, I know, I'll climb the tallest tree. When he climbed all the way to the top, Abdul Hakim didn't find anyone there. But then he looked up and said, Allah can still see me here. So where can I go and eat my nut when nobody can see me? Ah, I know just the right place. Abdul Hakim went to the highest peak in the valley where he could see everything. He could see the sea, the tallest tree, the cave, even the old oak. He said to himself, Anywhere I go, everywhere I go, Allah can still see me. I can't find any place to eat my nut. Abdul Hakim! Abdul Hakim! A voice cried out. That must be Uncle Salam. I better hurry back. So Abdul Hakim ran back to his uncle and his brothers. Assalamu alaikum. Abdul Hakim, where have you been? We've been waiting for you. Now boys, tell me, did you manage to eat your nut in a place where no one could see you? Abdul Salim? Yes, uncle. I went far away and I found a big bush and jumped right in. I looked to my right and I looked to my left and I couldn't find anyone there. No one saw me eat my nut. But I went inside of the tree trunk and it was very dark there, said Abdul Karim. I couldn't even see myself. There's no way anyone could have seen me eat my nut. And what about you, Abdul Hakim? I went to a cave. 
I climbed to the tallest tree. I even went to the tallest peak in the valley. But everywhere I went, uncle, Allah could still see me there. So I couldn't really find any place to eat my nut. MashaAllah, Abdul Hakim, you're right, said Uncle Salam. In fact, whether we go to the deepest sea or to the tallest peak of the mountains or even out to space, anywhere we go, Allah can see us there. So let me get this right, said Abdul Karim. Allah can see us inside of the tree, inside of the cave, and even inside of the bush. Does that mean Allah is everywhere? What, you mean Allah is even inside of Sami's fishbowl? said Abdul Salim. No, no, no. I said Allah can see us everywhere, but I didn't say Allah is everywhere. Allah is not inside of His creation, but Allah is above His creation. As a matter of fact, if we take all of creation, that's the earth, the moon, the sun, the stars, even all the planets, all of this put together in the hands of Allah is smaller than Sulaiman the ant. Ask him. Uncle Salam is right, because Allah who Akbar, Allah is the greatest, said Sulaiman the ant. The same way I can fit on your hand, all of creation in the hands of Allah is even smaller than me. All of creation is even smaller than Sulaiman the ant? They all said in awe. How great must Allah be? They all looked up in amazement and said, Subhanallah, all glory be to Allah, Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allah definitely is the greatest. For winning the game, Abdul Hakim received a special badge with a special name written on it. It says, Al Basir, the all seeing one. That's right, one of the names of Allah is Al Basir, said Abdul Hakim. Al Basir, the all seeing one, meaning Allah can see us everywhere. Wherever we go, whatever we do, Allah can see us everywhere because He is Al Basir. You said, Al Basir, Al Basir. Allah is Al Basir. The all-seeing one. Assalamu alaikum, Uncle Salam. We see you later, said Abdul Hakim, as the three squirrels ran back to play more games around the old oak tree. The end. That was a great story, mashaAllah. So, Salsal, even if we can't see anybody, Allah can see everything. Allah is Al Basir. He can see everything. So, can Allah see me even if I can't see myself? <sighs> yes, Salsal. Allah can see you even if you can't see yourself. Because He is Al Basir. Jazakallah khair, Abu Walid. I think I'll go find another place to hide then. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Salsal. Now, you can also collect the names of Allah. We have Al Basir, Allah, the one who can see everything. Join us next episode as we collect more special badges with the names of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. With a mystery bunch, and together we learn about Allah. Come and join the fun, everyone. Come and see what's going on. Miss Rebush, come on and join the fun. Miss Rebush, together with us. Miss Rebush, with you all the way. Allah will guide us. Call them kids. We get dedicated to Oma. Together we learn about Allah With a mystery bunch On a journey to strengthen our Iman So come and join
join the fun Everyone Come and see What's going on As Abu Walid Helps us on our way Making sure We don't go astray Many problems We face every day But there's lessons That we learn along the way Cause every step we take Every move we make Everything we say, Allah is watching us If we remember Him, He will remember us In Him we put our trust, and that's enough for us With a mystery bunch, and together we learn about Allah With a mystery bunch, on a journey to strengthen our Iman so come and join the fun, everyone, come and see what's going on. Salim, what's wrong? What are you looking at? Oh, assalamu alaikum. I was just wondering how Allah looks like. When I saw a pretty star at night, I thought this must be Allah. But then it set, and I couldn't see it anymore. But then I saw the bright moon, and I thought this must be Allah. But it also disappeared. If Allah does not guide me, I will lose my way. But this morning, I saw the bright sun. It's so magnificent and more brighter than the moon, I was thinking that the sun must be Allah. Listen Salim, these are the creation of Allah. And we don't compare any one of them to Allah. And we don't make partners with Allah. Let me tell you a story that will help you understand more about Allah. Story time! Every morning after Fajr, the three little squirrels have Qur'an class at Masjid al shajara Today they are reciting Surah Ikhlas. I seek refuge with Allah from the shaitan, the accursed, and I begin with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, said the squirrels as they began to read. Say, He is Allah, the one, the only. Allahu Samad, Allah the Eternal Absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He doesn't have any children and he doesn't have any parents. Walam yakullahu kufuan ahad. And there's nothing comparable to him. Where did you get that from, Abdul Hakim? My ummi gave it. My ummi is the best. My ummi gave me this and it's bigger than yours. My ummi is the best, said Abdul Karim. Boys, concentrate. No food in class. Carry on reading, said Uncle Salam. Look at my one. It's bigger and better than both of yours. My ummi is the best, insisted Abdul Salim. Whoa, said the other two. That's the biggest quad-layered peanut butter sandwich we've ever seen. Boys, I told you no food allowed in class. And where did you get those sandwiches from? Asked Uncle Salam. We got it from home, Uncle Salam, said the squirrels as they hid the sandwiches behind their backs. Tell me then, who loves you the most at home? Said Uncle Salam. My Umi! They all shouted together. Well, did you know that Allah loves you more than your mother? Said Uncle Salam. Allah loves us so much. Are we the children of Allah, Uncle Salam? Said Abdul Karim. Does Allah have a mummy and daddy, Uncle Salam? Asked Abdul Karim. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, he is Allah, the one, the only. Oh, I get it. Said Abdul Karim. Allahu Samad, Allah the Eternal Absolute. Now I understand, said Abdul Salim. 
Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He doesn't have any children and he doesn't have any parents. That's right. Wa lam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. And there's nothing comparable to him. So we are not the children of Allah, but we are his creation, said Uncle Salam. How does Allah look like Uncle Salam? said Abdul Karim. Does Allah look like the sun? said Abdul Salim. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ And there's nothing comparable to him. Does Allah look like the moon then? وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ Nothing is similar to him, Abdul Salim. Does Allah look like a human then? وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ And nothing is comparable to him. Then Allah must look like an animal. Maybe an elephant or even a bull. Or maybe a squirrel. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ And nothing, and I mean nothing, can be compared to Allah the Great. All of those things are the creation of Allah, Abdus Salim. And Allah is not like His creation. Allah is not like anything you know, or seen, or heard. And He tells us that we can't compare Him to anything, said Abdul Hakim. What was before Allah, said Abdul Karim. Put your hands up and count down your fingers, said Uncle Salam. Arba, thalatha, isnan, wahid, counted Abdul Karim. And what comes before wahid? What comes before the one Allah, asked Uncle Salam. Nothing, shouted Abdul Hakim. Allah is the one and the only. He is Al-Ahad. Qul hu wallahu ahad. Masha Allah, Abdul Hakim. You're right. Allah created everything. And nothing created him. He was and is and always will be the Lord of all that exists, said Uncle Salam. For speaking about Allah correctly, Abdul Hakim received a special badge. It has Al Ahad written on it. Al Ahad is one of the names of Allah. Allah is Al Ahad, the one and the only. You said Al Ahad, Al Ahad. Allah is Al-Ahad, the one and the only Lord of all that exists. The squirrels carried on reciting Surah Ikhlas until home time. Say, He is Allah, the one, the only. Allahu Samad, Allah the Eternal Absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He doesn't have any children and he doesn't have any parents. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. And there's nothing comparable to him. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu Samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. The end. How did you find the story? Salim, what about you? Very good, MashaAllah. Oh Allah, I will never compare anything with you. And I turn my face towards you. You are the one who created the heavens and the earth. Salamu alaikum, Abu Walid. Wa alaikum salam, Salim. Now, we discovered another name of Allah. Al-Ahad, Allah is the one and the only. And we don't compare anything to Allah because He is Al-Ahad, the one and the only. Join us next episode as we discover more special badges with the names of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And together we learn about Allah So come and join the fun Everyone come and see what's going on Mystery Bush Come on and join the Mystery Bush Together with us Mystery Bush With you all Media dedicated to the Oma.
to find them anywhere. Sorry, Nabil, I haven't. But I can help you look for them. Tell me, where was the last place you saw them? Um, the last place I saw them, um... Ah, I know. When I went to see Salim, I went to tell him a story. A story? We love stories. Can you tell us the story? You want to hear a story? Sure, I'll tell you a story. It's called Dua. It's story time. Scream. One stormy day, the three little squirrels were stuck under a small cherry tree. We better get out of here before we get soaked in the rain, said Abdus Salim. Look over there. Maybe we should go to that cave. I'm sure it's more dry there than here. You were right, Abdul Salim. We will definitely stay dry here than underneath that cherry tree, said Abdul Karim as the squirrels entered the cave. All of a sudden, a big rock fell and blocked the entrance of the cave. Oh no! We're stuck inside of the cave! There's no way out! said Abdul Hakim, while he and Abdul Karim tried to push the big rock. It's not moving. We're going to be stuck here forever. Help! Help! Can anyone hear us? Stop making so much noise, Abdul Hakim. No one can hear us here, said Abdul Karim. You're wrong, Abdul Karim. Don't you remember Allah can see everything? Because he is Al-Basir, the all-seeing one. But Allah can also hear us anywhere. Because he is As-Sami', the one who hears everything, said Abdul Salim. Let's ask Allah to help us by telling him something we done only for his sake. Abdus Salim raised his hands up and made dua to Allah saying, Ya As-Sami', O oh Allah, the one who hears everything, hear my dua. O oh Allah, you know I was a very bad squirrel once upon a time. I used to throw rocks at poor little ants in order to squash them. I used to think it was very funny. However, one day, as I was just about to throw a rock at an old ant, a little voice shouted out, Stop! What are you doing? Fear Allah! It was Suleiman the ant. He actually reminded me about you. Ya as O oh Allah, the one who hears everything, hear my dua. You know that I stopped throwing rocks at ants, and I only stopped doing that for your sake. Please help us, Ya Allah. All of a sudden, the big rock moved a little. There's an opening, said Abdul Hakim. But it's still not enough to get out. Abdul Karim, you make dua now. Ya as Oh Allah, the all-hearing one, who hears the call of everyone, hear my call, said Abdul Karim, 
with his hands raised high. Every day I travel a very long way to go collect a sweet honey drink for my family. I let Ummi and Abi drink it first and then when they're done I give the rest to my baby brother Yamin. One day when I came home late with the sweet honey drink, Ummi and Abi were asleep. Baby Yamin was crying because he wanted some sweet honey drink. I put baby Yamin to sleep telling him, Ummi and Abi always let us eat and drink first before they do, so this is a gift for them. While baby Yamin slept, I waited by their bedside all night long until Ummi and Abi woke up to drink first. Ya As-Sami'ah O oh Allah, the all-hearing one, who hears the call of everyone, hear my call. You know that I only done that for your sake, Allah, so that you will be happy with me. Please help us, Ya Allah. Again, the rock moved a little. We still can't get out. Just a little bit more, said Abdul Karim. Abdul Hakim, you're the last one left. It's your turn to ask Allah for help, said Abdul Salim. Raising his hands up, Abdul Hakim began his dua by saying, Ya As-Sami'ul Basir, O oh Allah, the one who hears and sees everything, hear my dua. One day I hurt my foot and I was unable to collect any nuts. I saw Aqil, Amil and Abid nearby. Will you three help me collect a bowl of nuts? And in return I will give you a cherry each. Of course, they all agreed. When they finished collecting the nuts, only Aqil and Amil came to collect their cherries. Where's Abid? He's probably gone looking to help someone else. He loves helping people, said Aqil. What should I do with his cherry? I know. I will plant it and Abid can have all the cherries from its tree. As days went by, the cherry tree grew and had lots of cherries. What should I do with all these cherries? Abid hasn't come back yet. I guess I will plant these too. Many days later, Abid returned. Sorry, Abdul Hakim. I forgot to take my cherry that day. So I'm here to take it now, said Abid. Here you go, Abid. This cherry is yours and all those cherry trees over there are yours too. But, but I thought you only said one cherry, said Abid all shocked. All those cherry trees came from your one cherry that you forgot to take. Ya As-Sami'un Basir, O oh Allah, the one who hears and sees everything, you know that I only planted those trees for your sake, only to make you happy. Please help us, Ya Allah. Miraculously, the rock moved again. It was enough to get out of the cave. The squirrels shouted out the kabir. Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. As they were leaving the cave, Abdul Salim found a special badge with the name as samir written on it. as samir is one of the names of Allah. as samir the one who hears everything. as samir you say it. as samir as samir Allah, the one who hears everything. The squirrels quickly ran home to show Uncle Salam the new badge they had found. Now remember, anytime you're in trouble, ask as samir the one who hears everything, and he will help you, insha'Allah. The end. That was a great story, and I've got a great idea on how we can find your keys. Help! Well, why don't we ask Allah for help? If we make dua to him, I'm sure we'll find it. That's a great idea! Oh Allah, please help us find Nabil's keys. You make dua for me too! Oh Allah! Please help me find my keys. Uh, uh, uh. Alhamdulillah. Look, Nabil, your keys. Where? Where? On the ground. Oh. Oh, I actually forgot. I don't really have any pockets, so I always leave my keys on my hat. Jazakallah khair for helping me, Abu Walid. And thank you for making dua for me. I'll see you later. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Nabil. And thanks to Nabil, we discovered another name of Allah. We have As Samir. Allah, the one who can hear everything. Join us next episode as we discover more special badges with the names of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
حيوانات الغابة أصدقائه ويتشاورون في كل الأخبار يكري 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 لم أتناول أفضل من هذا التفاح منذ مدة يبدو أنها لذيذة جدا الرعد الصغير التقطها شكرا اعتقدت أنك نسيت أنني هنا ماذا عنك أيها الكسول هل ارتحت الآن؟ أتريد التسابق؟ بالتأكيد أشعر بأنني أقوى من كوجر من يصل أولا يفوز اخترت هذه الشجرة لأنني تسلقتها مليون مرة من المستحيل أن يلحق بي الآن هذا سهل جدا يا صديق المسكين المسكين يا كاري ليس لديه فرصة للفوز ها 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 مستحيل كيف فعلت هذا؟ لابد أنك غششت لم أغش لقد فزت ببساطة مم. آه يا كاري أمهر مني بالتسلق يا كاري أفضل ها. مني بالسهام يا كاري أفضل في التعصب أنا لا الثور أرجوك لا تغضب فأنا دائما الأفضل مم. إن كنت ستتفاخر بهذه ها. الطريقة فبإمكاني يا آه. كاري البطل أن يلعب آه. بمفرده آه. نسل الثور وماذا كنت تتوقع؟ لا تنكر لقد غششت يا كاري ماذا تعني؟ لم أغش تسلق هذه الشجرة مئة مرة أنا مهر منه بالتسلق رائع حلقي يا أيتها الطائرة الورقية حلقي كالنسر هاي أيها الرعد الصغير لنجعلها تتحرك الدوامة متأكد من أن هذا هو ما تريده؟ آه. 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 أرجوك أخاف في السرعة آه. 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 لا علي التسلق لأتمكن من إنزالها آه. يجب أن تكون مهمة سهلة بالنسبة إليك فأنت أفضل مصلق آه الأشجار آه آه رائع لم أكن أعرف أن الطائرات الورقية تقفز لا يمكنها ذلك يبدو أن الرياح في صفي نعم وكذلك الأرض والماء آه والنار وكل آه عناصر الطبيعة آه تساعد قبيلة المحاربين على البقاء أحياء في السهول الواسعة من الذي يتكلم؟ أهذا أنت أيها الرعد الصغير؟ إنها الشجرة التي تنظر آه. إليها رائع كنت تتكلم مع الحيوانات والآن مع الأشجار لكن لكن الأشجار لا تتكلم كما ترى آه. هذا ليس صحيحا هل تعرف أن بيننا أوجه شبه كثيرة؟ حقا؟ أنا كائن آه. حي مثلك آه. تماما آه. ينبض قلبي في جذعي يجري النصغ في عروقي مثل آه. الدم أغصاني ممتدة إلى السماء وهذه الأوراق آه. التي تغطيني وتحميني لا تختلف كثيرا عن شعرك هذا رائع أنا أكلم الأشجار يمكنني التكلم مع الأشجار <تصفيق> ربما يجب أن تكلم لا لا ليني لي كي أن تكلم أشجارا أخرى في الغابة لتعرف
هاي آه. ايتها الارزه هل يمكنك ان تتكلمي كصديقتك السنديانا آه. استيقظي ايتها الشجره قولي لي اي شيء ايتها الاشجار هل تسمعينني انا اكلمك هل كان هذا مجرد حلم ربما سمعت صوت اوراق الاشجار الم تفهم بعد أم. لا نحب ان أم. نتكلم دائما هذا كل شيء لم يكن حلما اذا لا اطيق الانتظار حتى اخبر نسل الثور لكن ربما سيتهمني بالكذب فر من أم. هنا نريد ان نريك أم. شيئا لا اظنها فكره جيده يا كاري من هنا ايها المحارب الصغير يا كاري هنا هي هل تريدان ان تجعلك تتوه في الغابه ام ماذا اقترب كدت تصل انظر الى جذوع الاشجار ولكن هذا لا يصدق ماذا؟ هذا ليس خشبا إنها حجارة لا أفهم ما يحدث في الواقع إنها أشجار قديمة جدا على مر السنوات جرى الماء من خلال الجذوع مخلفا وراءه المعادن التي تراكمت ببطء على الأشجار لقد فهمت وهكذا تحولت إلى صخور وبهذه الطريقة ستعيش هذه الأشجار إلى الأبد إنها معمرة نعم أنت محق عدني أنك ستعتني بها حسنا لكن لماذا بسمة بسمة كلمة ورسمة تقلتش هل تمتحين طالع وشاهد الأرهب الصغير لم يكن لديه ما يأكله أنا جا يا الله إنه ليس هنا لذا ترك الجزرة وانصرف يا إلهي فش أنا أحبه كثيرا من؟ وفي البيت رأت الجزرة من أين جاءت هذه؟ إنه غير موجود تركت الجزرة وخرجت البرنامج التالي هذا سيء أعتقد أن عاصفة آتية غريب يبدو أنها تحطم وهذه أيضا ما الذي سبب هذا؟ ها؟ أيها الرعب الصغير اهدأ لا تخف اهدأ 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 الرعد الصغير انظر الآن عرفت كيف أصبحت هذه الأشجار بهذه الحال إنه البرد أيها الرعد الصغير أه؟ أين أنت؟ أه؟ 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 الآن ستتحطم كل هذه الأشجار لكن لا يمكنني فعل شيء أه؟ أوجهها إلى الأعلى؟ إلى أعلى نقطة من الصخور؟ مم. سأستعمل الطائرة الورقية <تصفيق> سيضرب البرق الطائرة الورقية بدل الأشجار هاي رائع أصاب البرق الطائرة لقد نجحت أنقذت الأشجار المتحجرة لكن ماذا عن الطائرة؟ كيف سأحميها؟ هذا الغصن المتحجر سيفي بالغرض ها قد بدأنا أصبح الغصن عاليا كما الطائرة الورقية سيثبت لمدة أطول 
حسنا اتمنى ان تنجح محاولتي على الاقل حتى تمضي العاصفه هي ايها الرعد الصغير يمكنك الخروج الان اين تختبئ هل انت هنا لن تعرف ماذا فعلت خلال غيابك عني أحسنت صنعا يا كاري لقد أنقذت بشهامة صديقات المتحجرات أريد أن أربت على كتفيك بأغصاني لكن كيف عرفت؟ لا أظنك رأيت ما حدث أعرف ما فعلته لأننا ننتمي إلى القبيلة نفسها هذا أنت؟ أنت تثق بالجميع نسل الثور إذا لم تكن الشجرة تكلمني فماذا عن تلك الأصوات؟ اسمع لقد خدعناك كان صوتينا اجلس لقد انزعجت كثيرا بعد سباقنا لذا قررت أن أخدعك كما خدعتني وقد حلفني الحظ فالتقيت بالصخرة الهادئة الذي كان يتأمل فوق غصن شجرة سنديان تعرف أي شجرة؟ إنها التي علقت بها طائرتك أو لا علي أن أتسلقها لأنزل الطائرة كانت فكرتي هي أن نهمك بقدرتك على التكلم مع الأشجار وأن الذي قدتك إلى غابة الأشجار المتحجرة عن طريق القفز من شجرة إلى أخرى دون أن تلاحظ أرأيت نجحت خطتي <تصفيق> نجحت فعلا الآن أخبراني كيف تمكنتما من فعل ذلك <تصفيق> التقدم في السن لا يتنافى مع الاستمتاع <تصفيق> فاللعب مع الصغار هو الطريقة للمحافظة على لياقة الجسم <تصفيق> <تصفيق> لكن لم تكن خدعة للمرح فقط فقد أردت جلب انتباهك إلى الأشجار وكل المخلوقات التي تعيش على وجه الأرض ولقد نجحت الآن أصبحت متأكدا من أن الأشجار لا تتكلم على الإطلاق وتعلمت أيضا أنك إن أصغيت جيدا فستتعلم الكثير من الطبيعة يا كري يا كري حصانه بانتظاره لمواجهة كل الأخطار يا كري يا كري يتعاون مع رفاقه لمساعدة كل الأخيار يا كري يا كري حيوانات الغابة أصدقائه ويتشاورون في كل الأخبار يا كري يا كري يا كري Hmm, according to this map, the treasure is in a cave. I wonder what's inside it. You don't know what the treasure is? Uh, there's no such thing as bad treasure. Well, I hope you're right, Kazwa. Are you sure we're in the right place? Uh, let me see. It must be... Um... I think if we just keep going towards the river, then we should find the cave on the other side. Kazwa, look, it's Bilal. Uh, what? Wh where? When Kazwa sits in the he now allows them to get angry. The chase, the chase will be on. And Kaswa will be stuck. Quick, to the bushes. We can lose him there. Watch out for the branches, Kaswa. Ouch. Oh, 
I can hear him. We need to lose him. Look, the river. I have an idea. Ozeki, the map. You'll never get me, Bilal. <laughs> to read it. MashaAllah, what a beautiful part of the forest. This is a secret forest. The cave should be around here somewhere. Oh, I hope Bilal didn't follow us. Look over there. The treasure must be in that cave. <laughs> It's getting hard to see. Just keep going. The treasure's in here somewhere. Kazwa, where are you? I'm here. Where? Oh wait, I might be there. Was that you? Oh, oh I feel like something sticky. Get it off me! Wait, I've got a torch. Ugh, ugh, what is it? Mmm, it's honey. Uh, that means... Milan, quickly, let's find the treasure. There it is, finally. Bilal found us. Grab the treasure. He's, he's gonna get us. Just keep going. <sighs> that was close. Come on then, let's open the treasure. The moment of truth. Oh no, we stole Bilal's special honey. I'm sure he won't mind if we just taste a little. <laughs> it's not ours, and do you really want to make him angrier? We better get these back before he finds us. Ugh. Not again. Remember children, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. When Kaswa takes some honey, he knows Bilal is going to get angry. The chase, the chase will be on. And Kaswa will be stuck. The Kaswa Getting in a 
scrap, yeah. The Kiss War and Below Show. You know that it won't end well. <laughs> Want to keep your children busy while they gain beneficial knowledge this Ramadan? I think she we have the perfect solution. Download the One for Kids TV app, which features lots of fun and educational videos and songs your children will enjoy. All the content is authentic and music free. Available for download from these platforms or visit www.oneforkids.tv. One for Kids online store. Check out our range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and seeing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys, and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.oneforkids.net. We thank you for your support. Ramadan is coming Marhaba Knock knock, who's there? It's Ramadan Welcome, oh month of mercy The month of mercy Knock knock knock, where have you been Ramadan? We've waited for you such a long time We miss you so Where have you been? Please do come in And stay for good Everything's so nice When you're around We've waited long My man is weak Please help me too Pray through the night nights and fast the days to feed the poor. Who's there? It's Ramadan. Welcome, oh month of mercy. You are the month of mercy. Knock, knock, knock. Where have you been, Ramadan? Where have you been? Waited for you such a long time. Ramadan. The time is here. To really strive, try and be the best Muslim I can Go to the mosque every single day And every night, inshallah Zaki There you are Zaki What are you doing outside All alone in the dark I am looking up at the sky Waiting to sight the moon That welcomes the month Of Ramadan I didn't know that Ramadan begins with the sighting of the moon. I just know that Ramadan begins when everyone starts cooking lots of yummy food. <laughs> <laughs> the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us to start fasting upon seeing the crescent moon of Ramadan and to stop fasting when seeing the crescent moon of Shawwal. What's the crescent moon, Zaki? Can I help, Zaki? Sure, Tima. The crescent is when the moon begins to look like a thin banana. When we look up into the sky and see the crescent moon, then we know Ramadan has begun. That's right, Tima. 
and the children at home can learn all about Ramadan in their Quran. Assalamu alaikum children. Are you all ready for Ramadan? I know I am. Ramadan is the greatest month of the year. You can get so many extra rewards for doing good deeds. What kind of good deeds can we do, Zaki? Reading and learning the Quran is one of the best ways to get closer to Allah. You can also pray extra prayers during Ramadan, such as Tarawih. Should we do extra good deeds only in Ramadan? We should try to do extra good deeds every day during the year. But Ramadan is a great time to start because you can get many rewards during this month. We should try to continue doing that after Ramadan as well, inshallah. Yes, during Ramadan, the gates of hell are locked and the doors of heaven are open, so shaitan is locked up. That's right, Tima. Ramadan is also known as the month of mercy. And we all know who the most merciful is. Allah is the most merciful. Look, the crescent moon is here. I hope you all have a great Ramadan and get the most out of this great month, inshallah. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan is the month of mercy. Ramadan is the month of fasting. Ramadan is the month of giving and helping those in need. Ramadan is the month of the Quran, the month in which it first came down. To Buffer and Muhammad in year 16, a guide for all mankind. Ramadan for fasting, for giving, Ramadan for praying. Be patient, Ramadan for giving and feeding, Ramadan. We love you, oh Ramadan. Look at the sun, look at the sky. Look at the bird, it's flying so high. Look at the stars, shining so bright. That looks so delicious. Thank you, Kazwa. It's our special recipe lasagna. And it smells so yummy. It really does. I'll get it. It must be Zaki. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Alaikum I bought us some yummy dates to break our fast with. I don't want any dates. As soon as it's time for Maghrib, I want to eat the lasagna. I can't wait to eat the lasagna too, Kazwa. It looks so tasty. But Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would always break his fast with dates and water. And we know that there was wisdom behind everything that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. Why are dates so good for us, Zaki? Dates are a great source of fiber and provide us with lots of vitamin C. After a long day of fasting, we should eat something that will give us energy straight away, which is exactly what dates do. They are very high in natural sugar. Okay, Zaki. I will eat the dates first. Wait a moment, Kazwa. It's not quite time to break our fast yet. But we're only a minute away. What difference does it make? If we can wait all day to break our fast, it would be so sad to break our fast early and undo all the hard work, sacrifice and dedication we have made all day for the sake of one minute. Okay, Zeki. I understand. You are right. I'm really looking forward to drinking water and quenching my thirst. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always broke his fast with water as well. He advised us to drink in three small sips rather than one big gulp. Our bodies are made up of 80% water and during fasting our bodies lose so much of it. So it is very important to drink water when breaking our fast to replace all the water and minerals our body has lost throughout the day. You know, 
Camels can go nearly two weeks without water. SubhanAllah, that's amazing. Well, it's always good to learn something new. Maybe that is true, but sometimes I don't think Kazwa can go 10 minutes without food or drink, let alone...